Uh, good evening, my people. How are you doing, everybody? Welcome again uh, this evening to our channel, Global Solution for All Mankind. This is a place where um, I try my best to find a spiritual way on how to deal with the cases and to provide the information on how you can get a, a solution, you can get an answer, you can get a direction on uh, challenges and problems that we encounter in life every day. Maybe it's uh, the first time you are joining this channel. My name is uh, Dr. Wilson Tayo, and I'm a minister of the gospel. Some people are calling my line asking me, are you a witch doctor? Um, I don't know how people perceive uh, the message that I'm giving to people because you are used to religious teachings whereby it's about Jesus, everything is about Jesus. Of course, he's a solution, he's a center, he's an answer to everything. That is divine intervention. And then also, he himself, he has another way that he provided to help people on earth. We call it science. Uh, people trust the hospitals, they trust the doctors, they go to medical doctors and they give them solution. And then also they believe in the spiritual gifts, whereby we trust in the preachers, men that speak the word of God and speak the mind of God to us. Now, I am one of them. I'm one of those men that speak the mind of God and I reveal the secret in the spiritual realm through the natural things, how we can benefit from them. I want you to look at Genesis, 20, Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 26. He said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the face of the air, the bodies of the air, the, uh, everything that creeps on the earth, and the sea. So free domain, the Lord gave authority. In those domains, we have entit entities, we have creations, we have creatures, we have plants, we have animals, we have birds of the air. We have many, many things that by the power of the Lord's word has brought to existence every creation. And now in verse 29, the same chapter, he says, uh, he gave it to man so that the man will benefit from all the plants, the trees, the herbs, and everything. Now I'm here to give you um, another teaching because what is happening, if you look at Genesis to Revelation, the only thing that you see that the Lord himself is confessing. He says in Isaiah 5, 13, my people have been taken into captivity for the lack of knowledge. If you lack knowledge, uh, definitely you are going to captivity. Isaiah 4, verse 6, he says, my people perish or get destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I, the Lord, have rejected now, it's not that knowledge is not available. Knowledge is indeed available, but people reject it. People fight it. You give a solution to somebody and somebody is asking you, how will people say, if I do this, if I wake up in the midnight and do one, two, three directive you are giving to me, how will my people say, how will my neighbors say? I want you to know that there is a song that we sing that says, More than what people say, more than what people say, more than what people say, more than what people say. Uh, there is a, something I want you to know. If you want to solve your case, 
if you are going through a certain challenge and you want to solve that case, do not look at what people will say. So long as what you want to do is correct, it's not against humanity, it's not against the, 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 the law of, of God, the Creator. If what you want to do or the way you want to use to solve your case is not uh, uh, genuinely legitimate, then you can worry about what people will say. But if it is genuine and acceptable in the realm of the Spirit before God, then you have to continue. Don't look at the mind of people. Don't look at what people will say. There's no need to check and understand what people will say because people are just having people. Even Jesus didn't want the testimony of men. If you look at uh, John chapter 2, from verse number 26, the Bible says he never wanted the testimony of men because he knew all men and what was in men. So he has no need to get a testimony or recommendation or compliment from men, for he knew men and he knew what is inside the man. Jeremiah uh, 17 and verse 9, the Bible said, The heart of man is wicked above all things, and he has a sick, a sick disease, a killer disease. The Lord is a who knows what's the heart. I, the Lord, knows the heart. A way is a motive behind to give every man according to what they qualify they ought to. The heart of a man has been formed upright to the God, but when the enemy defiled and deceived the man, then the man defiled his heart. Therefore, we all led astray like a sheep that have no shepherd. Isaiah says so. He said that all of us, we are spoiled. Uh, Romans chapter 3 and verse number 23 says, For all have sinned, and God short the glory of God. Nobody is up, upright. All of us, we are having shortcomings because we are created. Remember, we are human. The word human means humans. Okay? We are men, and then humans are the dust, dungs, the dust. The, 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 this, uh, uh, the collection of the dust. And they all put together, it become human. Human being. Okay? Now, knowledge is very, very important. The Bible says, buy knowledge and sell it not. That's why I'm sharing information here free. I am not selling my education in this place. Another thing I want you to know is, if you read John chapter 8 and verse number 31, Jesus himself says, if ye continue my word, you are my disciple indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. That is knowledge. The power of knowledge will set you free. Knowledge is an information. If you get information and understand it, then the, you get the spirit or the gift of knowledge, or I beg, the gift of understanding. If you get a heart of understanding, you get a gift of wisdom because the wisdom is attracted by the heart of understanding. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that um, when the heart is a, a gift of wisdom locates the heart of understanding, it's, a, it's in the book of Proverbs. Uh, so when you have understanding, you have a heart of understanding, you attract the gift of wisdom which will help you to apply the knowledge or the information you have received correctly and uprightly. Here is an information. What you can do to generate um, breakthroughs in the area of those of you that are doing business. If you are doing business and you are into looking and way of believing God to get a way on how you can attract a customer continually without a bodily way, without visiting any dibia, any witch, any sorcerer, any powers of darkness. But you want to remain on God and you want to see what the Lord can do to help you by His grace. Follow this channel and subscribe to this channel and you will experience a lot of information that is revealed from the scriptures and backed up with the point of God. 
a lot of people, we are blind, and that's why we may read the Bible, and because we don't have the Holy Spirit to reveal to us the information of the Word of God, we may end up reading the Bible and seeing it blindly without having an insight to discern what is, uh, get a really deep revelation on what you can do with the Word of God. Now listen to me what you can do. You can generate customers on your business. If you have a business, you have a shop, you have a, a, an office, you have an office where you are operating your business, you have anything we call business, you need people to come to your business. And therefore, what you can do is as follows. Now, this is a very simple way. Look at the rain water of Thursday. Thursday is a very, very important day for the business people. So, look at the rain water that falls on Thursday. Harvest the water. Do not harvest the water um, from the, 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 the roof of your house, of any house. Harvest the water from the sky direct. But let me reveal to you another progress, another uh, way of harvesting the business water. If you want to use a business for water, you harvest it directly from the sky. Number two, you harvest the water under the leaves of a tree. If you see a tree that has a fruits like uh, a mango tree or an orange tree or a, a banana tree or any tree that has the food, the fruits that people eat. Now, it's a better place for you to make a harvest. If you can train yourself to harvest water from those places, the water that falls on the tree and from the leaves of the water, the drawing of the water drop into your bucket, then you are blessed. That is the highest uh, water for business. Number two is the water directed from the sky. Now, on Thursday, is a very green Thursday. It's a day of green. It's a day of green pastures. It's a day of interest. It's a day of profit. It's a day of harvest. Thursday is a good day for the people of financial business, people who are doing business every Thursday. If your market day falls on Thursday, you are under a blessing. That means you are automatically blessed. The only thing you need is an answer or secret information that will reveal the blessing from inside and manifest it. Proverbs 20 verse 5, the Bible says, The cause of a man is deeper in their heart, but it takes a man of understanding to draw the water out. I am here to help you so that the potential you have inside for the business who manifest outside and turn your story around and give you a testimony. What are you going to do after you harvest? You know the laws of harvest. The laws of harvesting the water for business, you don't put the bucket on the ground. Look at something like a stool or a table and put outside direct on the sky. And then look at this a person that is a breakable vessel. Do not harvest to the plastic vessel. Do not harvest with an iron vessel. Harvest the water directly from the sky with a breakable vessel, like a glass vessel. Look at a basin or anything that you are going to use to harvest. Okay? Once you get this uh, trusted water, what are you going to do? Here is what knowledge comes in, because knowledge is very important. Knowledge is very important. So, get the water in the glass, okay? And then add cinnamon powder in that glass. Add the cinnamon powder. Get a plain paper like this one and write your names. Write your names. And if you have a name on your business, you write the name of the business. And then you fold the water. I beg, fold the paper. Fold it together. And then once you fold the paper together, what next thing that you have to do now is you put inside the water. Put inside the water. Okay? 
put inside the water. Fold the paper that you have written your name. You have written the name of the business. If you, the business does not have a name, just write your own name and write for business purpose. And then fold the water, the, the paper, and put inside the water. Once you put inside the water and add more cinnamon powder, cinnamon powder original, which is not contaminated. And then after you do that, uh, cover it and make your prayers. Make your prayers every hour in the morning. Make your prayers. Don't use it for many days. It's only for one day you make prayers. That's why I'm correcting the word every hour in the morning. It's only one morning. You can do that in the midnight. It's a very, very effective if you do this recipe in the midnight. But if you cannot do it in the midnight, it's still acceptable in any time now. You can do it any time of the day, any time of the night. But in the midnight is the highest quality time for this effective of this recipe. It will work very effective for you. When you finish, you are going to use the water, part of the water, remove the paper and use the part of the water to sprinkle on the business area where you are doing business, just sprinkle everywhere. And then keep the remaining water into a bottle with a, your name inside and put into your office or put into your shop or put into your house or whatever you are doing business. Put it. It will help you to generate people to multiply on your business day after day. Are you listening to me? My name is Dr. Wilson Tayo. Day after day, you are going to increase to have a good problem. How to solve people? is going to be a very healthy because you are going to increase a lot of people coming to you. As long as you put that water there, believe God. I want to tell you that the Lord is going to use that water as a point of contact to draw people to your business. That's what you can do. You will enjoy this service. God bless you. Those of you that are blessed with this channel, subscribe and share this information to your friend. It shall be a blessing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh, I love you all.